Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another episode of CSK News. And first off, I want to thank all of you guys who actually partook in my live stream earlier today where I tried to break a thousand items in CSGO. And thank you guys so much for your great support. That video on actually what happened will be out later this weekend. So thank you all so much who actually came out to that live stream. Now first off, in our big story today, I do want to talk about this guy on screen. That's actually Hirokazu, one of the more well-known gamblers out there on the scene, a good friend of Watch Games as well as Arrow and Zuri and all the other gamblers out there. One of those few gamblers who actually partakes to Twitter mainly and tweets a lot of things out about his tens of thousands of dollars of wins on his gambling site sprees. Now also, he was actually caught this morning. He's done a lot of big giveaways in the past. He was caught this morning live on live stream though, faking a Dragon Lore giveaway. Now what happened, he was actually caught giving it to his alternate account. People, you know, blew up. He actually received a lot of backlash for this. And ever since that, when he actually got caught on live stream, he shut down the live stream, quit his YouTube channel, shut that down as well, as well as his Twitter and other social media. Now he's ever since reactivated his Twitter and actually tweeted out things like this, apologizing to everyone and saying of all the giveaways he's done, this is the only one that he's faked. Now, although it's hard to believe, I do feel bad for the guy in the sense that he got a ton of backlash just for faking one giveaway. Now, I'm a big believer in forgive and forget, and he did actually end up getting one winner for that Dragon Lore. Apparently, he gave it to this girl on screen, or this, this fake girl, I don't know, Twitter accounts, you can always question nowadays. Just because a girl in the profile picture does not mean they're a girl, that's for sure. Learn that the hard way. But anyways, he has given out the actual winner for the Dragon Lore. He has apologized multiple times and still received a lot of backlash and a lot of hate for this. And also TWC responded very fast to Kadian's post yesterday. I'll repeat that post on screen for all of you. Kadian still not paid from the World Championships back in late 2016 over eight months ago. His team Team Denmark actually got fourth place winning $10,000. He came out on Twitter other pro players came out as well and said that Azubo who partnered, Azubu who actually partnered with Efrag had yet to pay off many players out there. Now Efrag did tweet out this morning. They've already responded to the case. Efrag was the partner with Azubu so Azubu is pretty much the sponsor who's supposed to pay out the money. Efrag partnered up with them. Now here's what actually happened. A breakdown for Efrag and all of you fans out there of TWC and people who hate to see pro players not being paid. Here's what Efrag had to say on screen for all of you guys. They allegedly had Azubu contact them. Azubu gave them a small part of the prize money to pay out to players and teams and said to them, Efrag, to tell everyone else they'd received the full prize pool money. Now obviously Efrag could not go on saying that, especially when pro players wanted the full amount they were owed and the full amount they were dude. As of right now though, we have several teams out there and pro players who have yet to be paid because Azubu is not giving Efrag the full amount of sponsorship money. Now Azubu allegedly, according to Efrag, had actually bought out Hitbox, one of the more popular streaming services out there underneath Twitch. Obviously Twitch is the mainstream over there. Hitbox is one of those those uh, second or third place ranking Twitch uh, streaming services. They actually bought out them for several million according to Efrag. Now we're not really sure if this is actually true, but apparently if Azubu can pay out millions of dollars to them to try and buy out Hitbox, they probably have enough money in the bank to pay $100,000 in prize pool money to Efrag. Allegedly though, Efrag is actually going to seek legal counsel and legal action against these guys because they have yet to be paid the full amount and that is why they can't pay the players. So it does make sense as to why they haven't paid the players, but you would think if Azubu is going to be your sponsor, have them pay you the money up front you know, before the tournament or during the tournament, even as it's going on, don't make it wait till this long after, eight months after to actually bring it to light, the issue itself. Now also, bouncing off that, I did clickbait you guys a little bit because I love Mixwell so much. We actually had Optic Hex, he's the owner, one of the co-owners of Optic Gaming. In one of his vlogs this morning, he did release this, the thumbnail being, will Mixwell join the Gears of War team? Obviously, many of you guys know that's not gonna happen. But I did wanna show you guys a clip of that because apparently one of Optic Gaming's very own Gears of War members, his name is Red Icy, I'll show a picture of him on screen. He actually got into an altercation at one of the Gears of War events with another team. These are one of the Gears of War events. Apparently this kind of scene is very rowdy. It's very, very fun atmosphere where players just trash talk back and forth. Red Icy got into a physical altercation with another team and apparently was suspended for partial time. And Hector went ahead and axed Mixwell. You know we have Elyse and other pro players out there who can play different types of esports every once in a while. Elyse being one of those higher IQ CSGO players. Mixwell being one of those players who apparently is good at other games too. And Hector did go ahead and say this to Mixwell, but Mixwell did denied going ever to Gears of War. With as their fit for the first match of the new season, Oscar, how good are you at Gears of War? I only played, I only saw one game and I saw it, I didn't play it, so I'm not a big fan, but I, I'm good at every game, so I get that. <laughs> <laughs> My man. 
So it's a no for Oscar. And also just yesterday with the Finnish organization known as NC Esports who had a vast majority of changes uh, throughout 2016. Six or seven players entering and leaving that roster alone throughout just last year. They actually ended their new team, their new roster just yesterday as well. So NC Esports is now parting ways with the CSGO roster. So for all you people out there who did see the clip, many of you guys probably did not see. Freiburg actually came out and said that him going to NC Esports, the Finnish organization, was a maybe. Actually, quote unquote, will you go to NC Esports Freiburg? Maybe, maybe, maybe. That was his real response on a live stream. I won't play the clip for you guys, but rip that dream as NC Esports is now part of ways there, and I still truly do think Freiburg is going to godsend. We will see in the future, though, what happens to Freiburg as NC Esports is now out of the picture. And for some reason, this is more important than it's ever been before. You know, we really know that this body wall bang has never been done too often on cash ever since, you know, last week or so it's been brought up in the news. And again, over the course of time, this really is not that big of an update coming from FM Pone. He tweeted out this yesterday saying, that he had fixed the cash uh, wall bang itself that went live just yesterday in the beta CSGO update for the actual cash map where apparently the wall bang was reduced damage. If originally his tweet did say a headshot would do only 10 damage. Now we have people saying it's doing 35 damage. Then of course we have Jason R who now did the actual wall bang after the update and got a headshot and a kill through that wall bang. So as of right now the whole patch, the whole wall bang fix is not fixed. Going forward it seems that there have been some issues with that. Of course with that new GOT up, GOTV update of several issues across CSGO with FPS drops and, none, and nonetheless, but here's Jason R proving everyone wrong that you can still get the wall bang. Everyone's seemingly doing the wall bang from now on from different angles and different sorts, so that's probably why as of right now it's not been fully patched. Man. Gosh, I'm uh, that's ready for my for the oh, just... next gen wadi, ba this wadi bang. Ooh, Ooh Zooey Mama, Reddit. Is that, is that a new one? And this is my desperate call for help. I know we're almost done with the video, but I want to thank all of you guys so much for watching so far. And I want to ask you guys a huge favor, not to sign up for my OP Skins affiliate code, but I need your help to get gameplay. And many of you guys know, we've seen the same default gameplay for so long in this channel because I only have one guy right now, Derek, working for me to actually get gameplay from the, from the latest tournaments. I need your personal own gameplay. So for all of you really good CSGO players out there who record your death matches, your casual matches, any match of like Meg7 gameplay, op game, Gameplay, M4 gameplay, anything that's really fun to watch in the background. If you guys want to send me 1920 by 1080 gameplay and you're willing to do that for free, I will leave my email link down below for all of you guys to send me gameplay through Google Drive. And if you guys really have a lot of good gameplay for me, we can work something out. Maybe I'll shout you out or leave your link in the description. Please, I need your guys' help to get better looking gameplay and background footage. So if you guys want to do that, my email is down below. And thank you to everyone who actually helps me out doing that. I, I desperately need your guys' help on that one. And very lastly, I want to make this kind of a secret. I don't want to put his name in the title, but I want to finish off this episode a little bit of drama, okay? I have a potential story involving a big CSGO YouTuber. His name rhymes with Chick Phil, Phil It. And I want to maybe release that story in the future, but it will actually have a lot of drama to it. There's a little bit of evidence backing it up, though. So for all of you guys out there who are Chick Phil It fans, just be weary, okay? I have some evidence out there on a story which could come to light. We'll see if it actually does, though. That's a little bit of a sneak peek for all of you guys. Again, I want to thank you all so much for watching, so much for watching my live stream earlier today, and that video will be out later this weekend. And then big thanks to all of you guys who've been using my OP Skins affiliate code. It's free to use for all of you guys. So thank you all so much for the great, amazing support. I will see you all tomorrow at more CSGO news. I will see you guys all this weekend with some great videos. And until then, live, love, laugh a lot. Hope you guys all enjoyed the short video. Remember, my name is Jake. Remember, I like you. I will See you all tomorrow.